I always kind of thought I was going to change the world. Like when they say you can be anything you want, like become president. I just thought that would happen. Okay, not being president, but you know, something, something brilliant. Now it's time to be brilliant and I just don't know how to go about it. Also, when they say you can do anything, there are a lot of options. I'm floundering a bit, you could say. I'm functioning, but I'm just not that good at anything. Everyone around me walks with so much purpose. Out of my way! I know where I'm going. I'm very important. I'm gonna be somebody. Out of my way, loser. I'm gonna be the president. come to this. If you uh, hadn't told her to be herself so much, maybe none of this would have happened. Wait, wait, wait. What are you guys talking about? Will somebody please explain what is going on? Melina told us about how you tried to... what you did. We got here just in time. She's gonna do it again. She is already planning how she's going to do it again. God. What are you talking about? Oh, no. Dad, that's for the script that I'm writing. Jeez, I can't believe that you guys thought I wanted to kill myself. Sweetheart, I know this is difficult, but that's why we are here, to help you. Where did I go wrong? I is it not a boy? Are you a virgin? She's a lesbian? I'm so sorry I'm late. Oh, that's the okay. train was delayed. Thank you. Thank you. So, how are you feeling? I'm fine. How are you? Here you go. Oh, Thank I you. ordered you mini pie. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, um, excuse me? Can I have a knife, please? Oh, they don't have knives. We both have knives. Oh my god! What is wrong with you? Melina told us you tried to headbutt a taxi. She jumped in front of it. I saw it on Twitter. This is so beyond stupid. Hey, you're stupid. Baby, please, she's having a hard time. And she's alone. Okay, I'm gonna go home, work on my script anyway, so. Wait, how is your script coming along? Are you submitting it to that contest? Yes. Yeah? Actually, going great. Working on the ending now. Ooh. What's it about? It's about a runner who loses her scholarship after an injury. Wow. That sucks. I would probably just jump off a cliff if that happened to me. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Well, don't, well, uh, don't you want to finish your pie? Not really hungry anymore. Mm. Suicide hotline, please hold. And now go in the dungeon. How can I help you today? Um, hi. Well, um, I'm not really sure, but, um, I think I might be suicidal. All right, let me just ask you a few questions and we'll talk through this, all right? First question, here we go. Ready? Do you want to kill yourself? What? I, I don't know. What, what's a dumb question? What do you even mean? Charlie, is that you? I thought this was confidential. It's me, Daniel. No, I, I recognize your voice. Remember, we, we went out in high school. That, that, this isn't your way of calling me back, is it? You don't want to kill yourself, do you? I mean, I heard about the accident. What? How? No, no, I... I'm doing research for a script that I'm writing, and no, I do not want to kill myself. Well, you are calling a suicide hotline. I'm not really sure what to believe now. Uh... Yeah, that, this, this was a mistake. Mm, yeah, you mean your life. 
Well, I can uh, get you in touch with a doctor who can prescribe you some antidepressants, but I have to warn you there is a higher risk of suicide in people between the ages of 16 and 22 who take antidepressants. Um, no, I'm gonna go. Oh, well, it was uh, good to hear from you, Charlie. Uh, give me a call anytime. You obviously know the number. I'm, I'm here all night, so uh, yeah, and maybe if, I don't know, if, if you're still interested, maybe we can get a coffee or something sometime. Goodbye, Daniel. <laughs>